Frederick Ogden Nash, 1902-1971, was an American poet. He was an American poet, well known for his humorous poems. So humorous, when you think about Ogden Nash, remember that word, he is humorous. His poems are noted for their surprising pun and comic effect when words are deliberately misspelled. So in his poem, you can see some words without the correct spelling okay so there will be spelling mistakes and exa the exaggerated expressions he uses give a special charm to his poems look <laughs> exaggeration means explaining uh, above the limit sometimes we can explain something with a limitation but here Ogden Nash would like to explain everything over explanation of something that is known as exaggeration. Okay, so he is also exaggerate and uh, when in this poem also he exaggerate that gives a special effect to his poem. This is going to hurt just a little bit is a humorous graphic description of the experience of the poet while sitting in a dentist chair. So, when you listen to this poem, when you read this, just uh, image in the mind, you are sitting in a dentist chair. I hope you understand your textbook, the picture of dentist chair is there. Uh, I am very good artist, you already know that. Something like this, a seat and so, uh, a uh, middle part, then a, pla a place to place your head, okay almost like this will be the dentist chair and you can sit here and place your head here anyway that's a special chair made for dentist itself okay so whenever you sit in that chair what kind of experience you will have that is a main theme of the poem exaggeration is one of one of the devices used anyway when you want to make a joke sure you have to exaggerate more because the reality sometimes uh, would not come with a joke. So don't you agree you might have had very annoying experience in life how have you looked at them. Here is a poem that looks at an unpleasant experience from an unusual perspective. So this is an unpleasant experience from an unusual perspective so just read the poem okay. This is going to hurt just a little bit. The poet is sitting in the chair of a dentist. Sitting in that chair, he explains everything. Okay, look at the first line. One thing I like less than most things is sitting in a dentist chair with my mouth wide open. So, simply meaning he does not like in sitting dentist chair he does not like sitting in dentist chair that's a simple meaning and that is one thing he does not like at all if there is a thing which he hate most he hate it most that is sitting in a dentist chair I hope that's fine so one thing I like less than most things so he does not like that Okay, and that and what with his mouth wide open when you sit with the dentist what you always you have to open your mouth. Okay, and that I will never have to do it again is a hope that I am against hope open means hope hoped this is hope. Okay, I told you there will be spelling mistake in the poem of Ogden Nash. He deliberately does that. Anyway. Uh, when he sit in the dentist chair, he always hope for what? He hopes one thing, he does not come again. Otherwise, he won't come to visit dentist again. But that's against his hope. He always hope not to come to dentist again. But that's against his hope. Means he has to come again and again and again. Okay. And I will never have to do it again. That's that's not a hope. That's only a sad thing. I have to come again. Because why he says, why he says this is the most hatred thing according to him. Some 
pains or some to some uh, tortures or some pains are physical some pains are mental but when we sit in front of a dentist there are both physical and mental pain see because some tortures are physical and some are mental but uh, the one that is both is dental it is hard to be self processed with your jaw dig digging into your chest self processed means self controlled we cannot control ourselves or we cannot feel respect to ourselves when we sit in front of a dentist because our mouth is wide open and our jaw is digging to chest means jaw digging to chest suppose ah, like this if you are opening and your jaw this part will be digging into chest okay that's why when you sit like that you cannot be self possessed it means you cannot feel respect to yourself okay and so hard to retain your calm you cannot be calm you 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 cannot be quiet because there are many things in your head and there will be pain uh, now uh, other emotions will be coming there but you cannot express it then what happened you know when your fingernails when your fingernails are making serious alternation in your lifeline or love line look alternation means change look when you are with your fingernail look at this and here are more lines some, something is known as lifeline something is known as love line anyway when you are sitting in front of a dentist and he is just working on your teeth then you feel a pain then you will do what like this okay then you will make alternation means you will make change in the lines means you will make new lines in the palm to uh, express the exaggeration okay uh, so hard to give your usual effect of cheery benignity means a, 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 a favorable circumstances so you cannot show a cheery expression a happy expression in your face when you sit in front of a dentist when you know why you cannot do that your position is one of the two or three in the life most lacking dignity because you are sitting in a position where you lack your dignity that's why you cannot show happiness you cannot show it's a favorable situation you cannot show it's a uh, it's a favorable circumstances it's you cannot show your benignity means you are in a place where you lack your dignity it and this place is something that you lack in the world itself one or if you take one or three places or one or three situations where you lack your dignity this is one of that in the world if you take three situation where you will lose your uh, dignity one of them is uh, uh, as you sit in front of a dentist that's according to ogden nash and your mouth is like a section of row. in this paragraph ogden nash would like to compare uh, work of a dentist to work of a road roller or work uh, of concrete work in the road or tarring work in the road okay and your mouth is like a section of rod mean our usual rod that is being worked on so you can see when you work with a rod there are many things look and it's all cluttered means in disorder way with stone crushers will be there in the rod and concrete mixers will be there drills will be there okay so in a rod when it's worked on you can see all those things like that and steam rollers will be there and there is in the nerve you mean when you are sitting in front of a dentist or comparing a road work also there is in the nerve means a courage you will not have any courage that in your head that you are in being eked on means you are irritated or annoyed or disturbed so you are disturbed by someone there is no any courage or there is no any steadiness in your mind that you are not annoyed it means you are annoyed here you are disturbed here there is no any nerve against that means you have no any thoughts you have no any steadiness you have no any courage to say that you are not irked on you are not annoyed really you are annoyed really you are irked, irked on means irritated and uh, 
Here coming to the dentist again, some people are unfortunate enough to be stung up by thumbs. Oh, stung up means, uh, means uh, I, as you can see or, or what uh, using the thread and string ok. Uh, using this string uh, you are using uh, to tie ok others are using gum using thread you are just stitching the uh, some somebody uses like that stitching uh, in the thumb also uh, using the thumb somebody using that uh, what pasting something in the tongue it is really technical when you are using uh, when you used to sit in front of a dentist, they will use their thumbs and they will stang up you, your teeth and some parts. Others are using gums, means somebody use gums to fix your finger, uh, to fi fix your teeth, okay. And, uh, and your teeth are supposed to be being polished, something you know. Really our teeth are supposed to be polished, but you have reason that to believe it is demolished means when we polish our teeth what happens when we polish our teeth it is very simple but when we polish we really feel as it is demolished or destroyed because the, you have reason to believe that and the circumstances that adds the most to your terror is that it is all done with a mirror and uh, you always feel fear why uh, because you are doing all this using a mirror. When you look at the mirror, you can see the terrible face on your uh, in, in the mirror. Okay, because your your mouth is wide open in front of a dentist, and you are looking to the mirror. And because the dentist may be a beer, or as the Romans used to say, only they were referring to feminine beer there as a usra, or sorry, an urs and uh, an arsa. And why? They always, Romans always call a female beer an ursa. Nothing here to specially note. Anyway, you feel dentist as a beer. That is why he does not like to show his face to you. So, he would like to show your face too. That is more uh, terrible or like uh, it is uh, boring really to look at our own face and mouth wide open and he is working on and we cannot look at the face of a dentist uh, maybe he is a beer ok. But all the same how can you be sure when he takes his cowbar, crowbar one hand and mirror in the other and won't get mixed up see if he take one of his uh, iron rod or a, a small crow crowbar means that is iron rod small thing which he used to fix it up and he will have mirror in the other hand. So, whether he will mix it up like instead of using the crowbar in the head he will fix as a mirror the crowbar and mirror he will insert or enter into your mouth. So, he will mix up ok. So it is very simple to think like when we have two things and we are supposed to do with this one thing and with, with this another thing, but we are mixing up the work of two like when we uh, tie a bow tie bow tie means uh, which has two parts like this left and right ok. So, when we tie that we will uh, looking at the mirror we will be confused of uh, right and left like that ok. He will not get mixed up the way you do when you try to tie a bow tie with the aid of a mirror and forget that the left is right and right is left. And then at last he says that will be all, but it is not because then uh, he coats your mouth from cellar to roof. Maybe all, all after all this, he will tell. Now it's okay. Now it's okay. All things are done, but it's not because he want to coat your teeth from cellar to roof. Means from the bottom to stem, from stem to stern, from uh, beginning to end. He want to uh, coat it with something that I suspect generally used to put a shine on horse hoof. Horse hoof, when we uh, want to shine the horse hoof, we use a kind of uh, polishing thing. That is same thing we are using here, that is the word by Ogden Nash. And you totter your feet and think, totter means you will move. After the work, you will move and you think one thing that, oh, well, it is all over now and after all, it was only this one, okay. 
oh this is the last one it's okay my teeth are okay i don't have to come here again and you will start tottering means you will start moving okay and he says come back in three months means month here months means months so we think that we don't have to come back again when we start going he calls you okay come back after three months oh we feel bored again and this oh fate is i think the most vicious circle that you ever sense it the man has to go continuously to the dentist to keep his teeth in good condition when the chief reason he wants his teeth to good condition is so that he won't have to go to the dentist again simply telling why we go to dentist again why we want to keep our uh, what teeth healthy because to avoid visiting dentist right we are going to dentist for what to avoid visiting dentist and being healthy with our teeth right but here you know after each coming he says after three months you come again come again that's what ogden ash would like to tell us this is really an exaggeration of words an exaggeration of ideas when he sits in front of a dentist and i know that many of us are have gone to dentist and we have gone different places also but look at the way ogden nash would like to express and uh, experience his feeling and share his feeling with us like that we have to uh, we have uh, to share our feelings also in such an exaggerated way to make humor okay benignity favorable circumstances cluttered more uh, means disorder way and uh, nurse i beer crowbar a heavy iron beer iron bar that bent at the end the hoof a horny part of a foot of a horse totter moving and months months I, I hope this is clear from the part and uh, that's about the last chapter uh, i mean last poem from your english textbook thank you so much